Good morning and welcome to Dolphin Talk Waves. Good morning, Dolphins. We are so excited to kick off this Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021 with all of you. Busy day ahead of us. I know that yesterday's rain had us all feeling a little sluggish, but today we're coming back with a whole bunch of energy to make up for any time we might have missed yesterday. So let's get started right away with Ms. Holtzgrove and the pledge. All right, everyone stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And while you're standing, go ahead and raise your right hand and say with me, I will show safety, work responsibly, include others, make positive progress. In Spanish, we say mostrare seguridad, trabajare responsablemente, incluire a otros, tendre progreso positivo. Great job, dolphins. All Ms. right. And for, what's whoo. cooking today? <laughs> well, we've got some cherry blossom chicken today, as well as our everyday options and our everyday selection of milk, fruits, and vegetables. It is our first repeat lunch. If you can believe it, we've been in school long enough that we have our first repeat for lunch today. We know that cherry blossom chicken is a popular one. It is a solid choice for a repeat, that's for sure. Indeed. Well, boys and girls, we want to share with you today that last week, September 15th, Hispanic Heritage Month kicked off. And this heart that you see there represent countries around the world that have citizens who have Hispanic heritage which here's a clue, is a lot of them, if you can't tell by the number of flags that are inclu included in that heart. The Hispanic Heritage Month celebrates those who share a, a common heritage, but I guess we should probably take a moment and use Word Collector Wednesday to talk about what does the word heritage mean? Oh. Ms. Polsgrove, can you give us a hand with this one today? Sure, um, and I love how it's Word Collector, it's like everything coming together here. Um, heritage is what we believe, think, or do that comes from our family's background or traditions. Interesting. Miss Polsgrove, does your family have any sort of heritage connection that you've celebrated growing up? Oh, that's a great question. Um, well, hmm, we do, we celebrate, we did the Tooth Fairy. So that was a uh, tradition that we did. We did the Tooth okay. Fairy. Um, we did do Santa Claus uh, for Christmas. Um, okay. And, you know, something that was interesting when I was a little girl, um, we did not do like an Easter basket. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of my friends did do an Easter basket. So I didn't know that that was like a tradition I was missing out on until I went to school. And my friends were all like, oh, telling me all the great things they got in their Easter basket. And our tradition was to look for Easter eggs, but we did not get, I did not get a basket. So then I came home and I was like, why is this not our tradition? Where is all my chocolate bunnies? So, you know, people have different traditions and that's totally cool. But, you know, sometimes you might want to take on some other people's traditions because they're awesome too. This is very true. And in our school, we have a lot of students who come from a Hispanic heritage, but even within that heritage, there's a lot of different ways that their particular culture may celebrate. So while there may be a common thread of a language, the Spanish language is very common between them. There are different ways in which they express through music or their traditional clothing or their storytelling traditions that each of them still retains a very unique and special quality because while we may have some things in common, we are not all exactly the same. And so throughout the next couple of weeks, we will be celebrating different parts of Hispanic heritage and different people who share in that heritage to learn more about their traditions or their backgrounds or who they become because of those lessons that are really special or those things that are very special to their family and to their upbringing. So more to come on that, but this was just a little kickoff today and a great way to use Word Collector Wednesday. So I with that- I love it. Well, mm -hmm. everyone have a fantastic day of teaching and learning. And we will see you tomorrow on Dolphin, Dolphin Talk Waves. Talk Waves.